Hello YouTube, this is Sean Rio and I'm back today and I'm going to be covering the last of the things I'm going to be carrying for my 2016 Appalachian Trail through hike. Uh, only thing I'm missing is my uh, guidebook which will be here in a couple of days. I got the loose leaf version. Outside of that I'm going to be covering my electronics, my hygiene stuff, as well as my first aid kit, uh, as well as gear repair and some additional miscellaneous things. Stay with me. Okay, so here's my electronics. I'm just going to give you a real quick rundown. Uh, first thing is, is I've got a wall charger. Uh, it's two USB. So, and the other cool thing about it is, is that it's got the flip out prongs. So it's not, the prongs aren't pro poking out in my pack. So I can use this to charge two devices at one time. Saves me from having to carry another uh, wall charger. I also went with shorter cables and one is to save from them being tangled up. But the other thing is, is also help eliminate or reduce some weight. Uh, this one's a 12 inch one, it's micro USB. Uh, this one's uh, like 3 inch one, and this one's like a 7 inch one. And I also have a lightning adapter that plugs into here, like this, so that way I can charge my iPod. So, those are my that's my charging stuff. Um, I'm also taking an Anchor uh, 1300 milliamp battery or external battery pack. Uh, so that way I can charge all my stuff on the trail. Uh, I've used a lot of different battery packs, but for me, 1300 milliamps just seems to be the sweet spot for me as far as uh, for about five days to get all the charges I need for all the devices and things that I use. So I'm taking that, this weighs about 9.8 ounces. Uh, the other thing is, is that that's one of the reasons why I carry this shorter charging cable or even this one is because that way uh, when I want to charge my devices I don't have a long cable it's not necessary to have to have a long cable attached to this uh, just something short that way you don't have to you know have a long cable dragging out anywhere in addition to that carrying my iPod I want to say this is the sixth or seventh generation I don't remember it's the newest one I got um, to me I just can't live without an iPod I uh, love music when I'm backpacking it kind of helps motivate me during those days when you're putting in long miles and you're just really tired just crank up some music and it, it keeps me going uh, I want to say this is like 3.5 or 3.6 ounces and you get some pretty amazing battery life out of uh, iPod so that's one of the reasons why I love using them not to mention the fact that I'll, I'm gonna load up probably maybe one movie on here and maybe even like um, a, a couple of books and things like that so if I get bored I got a, a movie to watch and then on top of that I can uh, also read a couple of books on here versus carrying like a Kindle or something that would be a lot heavier or even just carrying a, a book itself uh, I'm also going to be carrying a black diamond ion headlamp. Uh, this weighs 1.5 ounces and it's a 70 lumen headlamp which I find to be more than enough for me at max setting. I was thinking about t uh, carrying my Petzl e-light but uh, I'd rather go with this just for the 70 lumens. So I'm taking that. Uh, just some extra batteries for the headlamp. and. Most of my electronics and stuff are going to go in this lop sack. That way I can kind of keep it waterproof. So that's my electronics. Bug protection. Uh, another one of the things that if you do a lot of backpacking, uh, you're going to learn that there's a lot of things out there like ticks, um, mosquitoes, as well as uh, gnats that like to kind of torment you while you're backpacking. So I have a couple of things to help me out with that. Uh, just a real lightweight bug head net. Uh, this weighs like 0 0.3 ounces, something like that. Uh, it's really lightweight. I also have some uh, Benz 100% DEET. Uh, I want to say this is like, it's a 1.25 um, fluid ounce or uh, bottle. And the reason why I'm going with a smaller bottle is um, I'm actually going to be using permethrin on my clothing. I'll explain that in a second. So it's not necessary for me to have to carry a lot. Um, as far as this is concerned, what I'm basically going to be doing is just spraying my exposed areas. Um, everything else will be covered with permethrin. Um, if you don't know about this stuff, this stuff is pretty awesome. Um, I've been using permethrin, I guess, for maybe about four years for backpacking. Uh, basically, what you do is you spray all your gear. Uh, it's not like DEET where it, it's, you know, it can mess your gear up. Uh, this stuff does not 
harm your gear or won't mess it up. In addition to that, um, it says it's effective through six washes. And if I remember correct, and let me read this, it says repels and kills ticks, chiggers, mites, and mosquitoes. If I remember correctly, I want to say it's good for like six weeks. So basically what that means is, is if you treat your clothes, uh, this is going to keep or it's going to keep the repellent active for up to six weeks. Um, I've used it for up to five weeks and never had a problem. So between these, and once I put this on, obviously I'm not going to be carrying this bottle, but it's a way of me having not to have to carry so much in terms of um, bug repellent and, you know, that kind of thing. So I, I can carry, get away with carrying a smaller bottle. So that's my bug stuff. Okay, moving on to hygiene stuff. Gonna run through this real quick, just carrying a Colgate travel toothbrush. Uh, I normally have a cut down toothbrush, but for something that's gonna be long, like a through hike, I'd rather just carry one that's got a case in it, or a case that way, kind of protect the toothbrush. Uh, not to mention the fact that it's gonna give me a long handle. So, going with that, uh, toothpaste. As far as my cleaning stuff is concerned, uh, just carrying a little pack towel. I may cut this down a little bit just to shave a little extra weight and get rid of the package. Um, also have a couple of camp sheet soaps in here just because they don't weigh anything. Uh, this is also Dr. Bronner's. I just repackaged it in a 20 milliliter dropper bottle. Uh, that way I don't have to carry so much. Uh, this stuff is highly concentrated and it goes a long way so it's not necessary to carry a whole bottle as far as I'm concerned. Some hand sanitizer, and this is just repackaged in a one fluid ounce bottle or a 29 milliliter. Uh, what I do is I just refill this up um, as I need it. That way I don't have to carry the bigger bottles. Some SPF 50, or 30. Uh, I really don't ever use suntan lotion, but I'm just going to carry this anyway uh, just to be safe. Uh, it's one fluid ounce, so in case I need it. Also carrying a little thing of Body Glide. Uh, stuff is awesome. Helps percent, prevent the chafing. And you know, one of the things I noticed that most people don't talk about in their gear review videos, or I, I don't see them talk about it, is uh, nail clippers. Uh, big piece of advice for those of you guys that uh, backpack, I highly recommend that you get uh, you have a pair of these. And the reason why, uh, give you an example, I want to say it was probably four or five years ago, my brother and I were backpacking. Uh, his nails were a little long on his uh, toes and he didn't cut them and because of that his toenails were hitting the foot box of his shoes and when they were hitting it it caused them to jam up and long story short um, a couple days later he ended up losing all of his toenails because of the fact that um, they weren't just kept short so one of the things I've always learned from that experience is carry a pair of toenail clippers if you're going on a long distance hike uh, try and keep them as short as possible that'll keep you from losing your toenails so that's it for my hygiene stuff. So next up I'm going to be covering my first aid kit as well as my gear repair kit. So plenty of vitamin I. I may beef this up a little more. Um, some extra strength Tylenol. This right here is just uh, some assorted types of um, sinus stuff medica or medicine. Uh, just in case I normally don't have sinus or allergy problems. But just in case I just don't want to be out there and not have anything. So just some assorted types. Some antibiotic cream, uh, some wound seal, alcohol prep pads, a cut in half, Q-tip, a cotton ball. A uh, cool thing about the wound seal is, is that if you start bleeding, you just sprinkle this powder on it and it seals it up. It makes a watertight uh, seal on it. So it's just something I've used it one time in the past and it really works well, so that's why I carry it. Sorted bandages as well as um, some moleskin. And I think there's some uh, there's two pieces of gauze pad in there too. Uh, a little piece of moleskin as well. I cut this in half. Um, I normally don't have problems with blisters, but I figured I'd just take some anyway, not to mention the fact that I have some duct tape if I need it, and as well as some bigger bandages. So that's pretty much my first aid kit. Uh, as far as gear repair is concerned, I got two zip ties, uh, sewing needle, and there's some thread just wrapped around a little card here. Uh, some extra duct tape. I keep duct tape on my trekking poles, but I also want to keep an extra set in here. It's, it's pretty small. Um, also have some super glue. I have some Cuban fiber patches back here, as well as a cut down piece of, um, for, uh, forget what it's called now, uh, tenacious tape. Uh, some extra gear ties, uh, some titanium hooks, uh, some patches for my inflatable sleeping pad. 
a little bit of fishing uh, lines just in case I need to make some repairs and they need to be a little bit stronger than using um, the thread that I have in here. Uh, a line lock. This is like a little um, paper roller and two safety pins. So that's pretty much it for my gear repair. And the total weight of all of the, and all of this stuff actually goes inside my lob sack right here. And the total weight comes out to 3.2 ounces, in case you wanted to know. Okay, so here's my miscellaneous things that I'm carrying with me. Uh, this is my sit pad. It's actually really, really small. It's made by Dutch Gear. I uh, just purchased this recently and I'm really, really pleased with it. I have a um, Thermarest Z-Lite. And I want to say that weighs about 2 ounces. Uh, this one weighs 0 0.75. So let me just kind of show you what it looks like. It folds out. And you got a sit pad. I consider this to be a luxury item, but you know, it's, I only carry what I consider probably two luxury items, and that would be this as well as my iPad. So I'll sacrifice the 0.75 weight to carry this, not to mention the fact that you know it gives me something to kind of lay things out on and that type of thing. So that's that. Uh, this is something that I normally carry on me, it doesn't stay in my pack, uh, but these are some miscellaneous items. Um, this is just a little um, LED flashlight uh, I want to say it's maybe 15 lumen or something like that it weighs like 0 0.3 ounces uh, I carry this is my pocket knife that I always carry backpacking this or a Leatherman style CS but this one's a little lighter so I'm taking this one uh, it's a Swiss Army Classic weighs like 0 0.75 ounces um, I also carry a little button compass that way I always know if for some reason uh, I get disoriented on a trail I can always fly north and south uh, that way I'm not backtracking at all and not realizing it. I also carry a little fire kit with me. It's got a little ferrocium rod, a little, little piece of tinfoil in here, um, some fire start material, and a mini Bic lighter. So I carry that, and that all goes inside this Cuban fiber um, pouch that I got from Z-Packs. I uh, also have a wallet. All I do is I put all my... Um, Stuff that I would normally put in a wallet in here. I don't carry much when I'm backpacking, so that works perfect for me. And the other thing I carry inside this little pouch, because I always have it on me, is some um, Tylenol PM. When, for some reason or another, I always forget. Sometimes I have a hard time sleeping, and so I always carry a couple of these with me. And I don't want to have to go digging through my pack. Uh, to find it at night when I decide I may need to take them. So I just keep it in here because it's always on me, so it's something I can get to pretty quick. Uh, same thing with my earplugs. I just keep them in my pouch because sometimes I'm sleeping and I don't want to have to get up and go hunting through my pack to look for them because uh, the pouch is with me. Um, I can use those and put them in real quick. So that's everything uh, that I'm taking on my... Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I pack everything up real quick. Um, this is a little bag that I have from Eagle Creek weighs like 0 0.3 ounces. I put things that I want uh, to have immediate access to in here. I keep it towards the top of my pack and then also at the end of the day I just grab this and I keep it with me uh, when I'm sleeping in my tent or sleeping in a shelter. That way I have some things that I find to be important to me. Uh, so I keep my battery pack and charging cable in there. As well as my first aid kit. And because it's in a lob sack I don't have to worry about you know, it'd be an odor resistant. Uh, some additional charging cables and batteries, as well as my iPod. And I also put my headlamp in here. So that way it's all next to me if I need it. Or, like I said, easily accessible in my pack. Uh, other things, as far as my hygiene kit is concerned, normally after I'm done eating, I brush my teeth, so I throw this in my food bag. Uh, you definitely want to keep sending things in your food bag. Uh, same thing with my washcloth. Um, these things I like to keep on my on, in my hip belt pockets, but I'll keep the lob sack in there too. That way, at the end of the night, I just throw everything in here, uh, just kind of keep it smell proof. And same thing with this. And then I showed you everything that was in these pouches. I keep this all on my person at all times. Uh, same with my wallet. So if you like the video, as always, give me a thumbs up. I posted several other videos uh, previously uh, that go over some of the other things that I'm carrying on my Appalachian Trail through hike. Uh, just look through my channel and you'll find them. As always, like, share, and subscribe. This is Shem Ryu. Thank you for watching. Moving like the speed of sound. Can keep on the ground. Can't
stay in one